Hey everyone, I'm Oliver, and I'm here to play Hollow Knight. Yeah, this game was recommended to me by many of you, and one of my real life friends has been trying to get me to play this game forever. Um, so yeah, but here's the thing, and the reason I haven't played this game yet is that this type of game I feel like is very much outside my comfort zone. Yeah. I've always had a weird prejudice against 2D games for whatever reason, probably completely unjustified too, but... I always thought they would be shallow, like action-y, uh, just hack and slash, no real depth to them, no pun intended there. <laughs> um, and this is a so-called Metroidvania. Um, I heard the term many times before, but I never actually knew what it meant. So of course, I went on Wikipedia as any good scholar would do, or not. Uh, <laughs> And I looked it up. It says Metroidvania is a subgenre of action adventure games and or platformers focused on guided non-linearity and utility gated exploration and progression. And the first thing that popped into my mind when I read that was that sounds like Dark Souls. And I fucking love Dark Souls. So if this game is anything like that, I'm already going to be sold. But I have to say that I don't have amazing expectations for this game. But I promise that I will keep an open mind at all times and really try to take everything in. For that reason, I also have a notepad ready to write things down in case I need it. Because who knows, I know I'm a little bit of a cluttered mind type of person, so that always helps me. Um, yeah. I just want to say as a last note, the way it works on this channel is that I play the games first and foremost for my entertainment. And not for yours. You get to be a fly on the wall, but you don't get to affect the way I play the game. So, for this reason, I will also be quite a lot of episodes ahead most of times. Um, but despite that, please do not backseat game me. And that means don't tell me what I missed in an episode, or what I should be doing next, or you should be doing this instead of that because it's so much better, or perhaps I will even miss an entire part of the game that is extraordinary because I didn't see it. And that's just gonna happen. I'm sorry to say, but it's gonna happen. But I will, of course, try my best to uh, take as much in as I can. Now, the only 2D games I've played in the past that come to mind are like Worms or Super Meatball or whatever that game was called with all the blood. <laughs> it had awesome music, but that's kind of what I expected when I went in here. And immediately when I came into the menu, I was greeted by this music. And I just sat here for a while, taking it in before I started recording. I love this music. I love the atmosphere in the background there. I'm getting good vibes already. Well, sad vibes, but the good kind of sad vibes, you know? Now, what else is there to say? I quickly went into the options, uh, adjusted some settings. I even turned this on. Maybe I don't have to. It was actually off by default, but you know, whatever. Adjusted the audio. I hope the levels are, are okay here. Um, yeah, I'm playing it on a 2K monitor at 144 hertz. You're gonna watch it at 60, of course, but uh, it is what it is. Played with a PlayStation controller. And it's pouring down outside. It is raining and it's dark and moody. It's the perfect time to play video games. Also, I've got my coffee. All right, without further ado, let's check out Hollow Knight, man. In Wilds Beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch, you taught we changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hello Nest by Monomon the Teacher. Interesting.
Man, the music in that intro, huh? And the wind blowing, what a great atmosphere. The piano, that was cool. A game by Team Cherry, never heard of them. Oh, I can jump, I can hit. I can actually destroy most things, cool. God, look at this art style. Isn't that unique? What is that in the background? Looks like giant worms. Actually, you know what they look like? They remind me of... Um, what are those animals called? Armadillos? Looks a bit like an armadillo. This one is cracked. Love the sound effects. So, the intro there, what the hell happened? So there was this really angry guy, it seems, who got fire in his eyes, and he woke up, and it was like, oh my god, I'm angry. Or something. Um. And then we came walking along the road. We saw some lights in the distance and decided to, to go there. Ha! Huh. That looks exactly like an armadillo, actually. Or not exactly, I guess, but... It has like a shell. Get away from me. This feels good, man. Combat feels good. Also very simplistic. There's not many buttons that do anything. I can jump and I can hit. And I can sort of move around. Who are these fireflies? Fuck you! Nice. Oh, look at that. It's all dark outside here. What is this thing I'm collecting? Looks like a small mineral. Or a stone. Also, I just noticed, look, I can jump higher the longer I hold the jump button. I'm already having a fear of missing out here. Uh, hold on, let me just check over here. Oh! There was something there. Did you hear that? Oh, wait a minute. Why can I jump up here? There must be some reason. Like, I can't jump here. Okay. Am I the Hollow Knight then? Oh, a stalactite. Stalactite? I forget which one it is. Inspect. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold to focus soul and heal. Wait. I mentioned Dark Souls. That sounds a little bit like Dark Souls, honestly. Well, not quite, but... Oh, shit. Ah! There. By the way, that little uh, wasp there. Did you see its head? It looked exactly like my head, but turned around, like in reverse. I also have these antlers. I just noticed, by the way. Does everyone have antlers in this universe? What am I even? Oh god, that looks dangerous. 
I think I may die if I fall down there. Oh shit. Ah! Oh shit, no! The thingy! I see it! It's down there in the... Shit, I can't get it. I'm too scared. Oh fuck. I'm loving the no music atmosphere here actually. The color palette is all like blue and gray. Very... Very depressing, honestly. This is the only light, really, I've seen. What is this, even? Am I a higher being? Oh, wait, I, I never tried that. Hold on. Hold circle. Wait, I lost HP. Sorry, I, I didn't quite see what happened there. I... Th uh... I don't know. Okay, here we go. Ah! Fuck. These are difficult, man. Ah. I'm not used to these types of games, so bear with me, please. Oh god, we have more of those. What is that? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Are those lives? Is that like a, uh, like a heart from Mario or whatever? Ugh. Go! Kill it. Ah! I can look up and down! I can't believe I never tried that one before. Oh, that's actually- oh, I, I kind of want to go back now and try that down here. One sec. I just want to quickly see. Uh, what if I go here? Oh! There's something down there, look! How do I get down? Oh wait, is that where I came from? Am I stupid? Oh, it's where I came from. <laughs> oh my god. That was a great start. Great start. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's, let's just go, let's just go. Sorry, just checking all the buttons. Ooh, wait a minute, I can click this one. Old nail. A traditional weapon of hello nest. Its blade is blunt with age and wear. That's not good. Focus. Hold circle. Focus collected soul to repair your shell and heal damage. Strike enemies to gather soul. Repair my shell? You mean like the the type of dress I'm wearing or the coat? What is that even called? Cape? I'm wearing sort of a cape made of leaves, it looks like. Whoa! Fuck, that scared me. Oh no, I could have fallen in there, look. There's things to collect. No! Okay. Is there really no... Can I wall jump? No. Okay. Man, I love the... Uh, oh, shit! I was about to look down. Oh, fuck. I think I'm doing okay. Wait a minute, I can do something here. Oh! Secret discovered! I'm trying to look to the right, but I can't. There's no way I can make that jump. Okay, let's try it for science. Let's see what happens if I hit these spikes anyway. I just want to see. Huh! Oh! Okay. Oh, I'll just get back here. I don't remember. Did I lose uh, one of those things up in the top left? I think I did. Um, I had two of the blue ones, didn't I? Uh. Wait, what? It nice! Can I get back now? Hold on. Jump! Oh shit. Not not quite. Damn it. Okay. Let's keep going. Hold on, let me check here again. I really want to explore this part. 
Damn it. Okay. Man, what a start, huh? No music at all, just sort of ambient noises and very minimal explanations here, which I like. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hello Nest. Okay. Wait, am I a higher being? It did say... These words are for you alone. You know? Maybe that means... That a, a non-higher being or a lower being would not be able to even receive these words. Like, this thing started to light up when I got close. Look. Is it like, higher being detected... Activate information sequence. I don't know. Also, I'm really enticed by the background here. There are these armadillos everywhere. Honestly, this whole place is fucking destroyed. Oh. I'm not exactly helping, am I? <laughs> yeah, it's all like dilapidated. Okay, uh... Maybe not the best idea. Hold on, let me check over here again. Is there really no way for me to get over there? I want to collect those things, whatever they are. Hold on, let me go in here again. Geo! The currency of Hallownest. Made from fossilized shells of various forms. Yes! That's actually what it looks like. It looks like an... Uh, like a fossil. Like an ammonite or something. Also, if you noticed in the intro cinematic, the lamps, they were focusing on them. The way they were spiral reminded me of an ammonite. Like one of those fossilized uh, uh, mollusks, I guess they are. Can be traded for goods or used as toll. In various old mechanisms. Okay. So they're money, basically. I'm trading fossils. Maybe that plays into the whole... This whole area is dilapidated and shit. It's fossilized, almost. I guess I jump off. Oh. So I guess there's no fall damage. I can freely fall. Look at this place, it's destroyed. Man, that thing in the background creeps me out. It looks like a, a circular mouth with a million teeth. You see it? Right above my character. Ugh. That is nasty. There, look! The lamp! That is an Ammonite-inspired lamp, for sure. What just happened? I... Ooh. Dirt mouth. Yeah. The fading town? He looks like me! In fact, he looks like an old me. We both have the horns. We even have the same... ...cape, I guess you could call it. He has a nice blanket, though. I'm kind of jelly of that. Let's listen. What is that language? Elderbug. Ho there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. Yeah. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, 
that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad, and travelers are robbed of their memories. Such beautiful writing. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Huh. The music, man. I can rest on a bench. Hold on. Can, do we have more to say? <laughs> I love this. Many used to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Is that what I came for? With a hope that this kingdom would fulfill my desires? I came here, right? He said other people came here too. But they all went down into the well? That's kind of dark, isn't it? Halonest, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was. Full of treasures and secrets. Huh. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb, full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Yeah. Only entropy comes easy. That's a quote by Anton Chekhov. <laughs> um, God, man. Why did it fall into ruin? What happened? Feeling tired? That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. You're just gonna assume I'm heading below, man? I don't want to go down there. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem the talkative sort. You're right. Actually, I just noticed. We're not saying anything, are we? Silent protagonist. You know what I think? I mean, he's he it doesn't seem like he knows me. But I seem to be of his kind, right? Of his race, I should say. For a second I thought maybe we were out doing whatever in the world and we came back home here. But then he would have recognized me, no? Also, his name is Elderbug. Elderbug? Does that mean he's like the elder of the town? You know what I mean? Like towns have these elders, the wise people that rule the town or whatever. But he's a bug, it seems? A bug? Okay, you're saying the same thing. You enjoy the company. Me too. Okay, let's rest, I guess. It's like a save point. Can you say anything else to me now? Now that I rested? Okay. Nothing new. Well, thanks, man. Uh, thanks for the warm welcome in an otherwise very cold-looking place. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Iselder and Conifer. I don't know why, but those two names sound so posh to me. You know? Like a high-class type of name. <laughs> oh, look. The, the house even has glasses on it. <laughs> That's funny. So it's a small town, huh? Dirt mouth. Oh, fuck! Ah, I didn't want to do that. No, I didn't want to jump down yet. Oh, shit. Okay. Forgotten crossroads. Can I read this sign? Nope, I can destroy it. I can go left or right. Hold on, I just want to see. Do I have a map or something like that? No. Maybe not yet. Actually, that... That kind of does look like a bug, doesn't it? With a shell? He looks all sad. Are you friendly? Oh, shit. No, he's not. Can I jump on you? Ah! Okay, no jumping on enemies. Uh, I just have to hit him with my thing. Ah! Die. I didn't want to kill him, though. He didn't look that bad. He looked sad, honestly. Look! 
There's like a wheelbarrow with a giant ammonite on it. Or one of those things that I'm collecting for money. Geo. Look at that one. Whoops. It's not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. I'm gonna kill this guy first. Oh wait, I can I can uh Ah okay, got it. I can even hit in the direction I'm uh, sort of uh, like aiming with my okay. Let's keep this organized. I'm gonna keep going left first. And explore everything this way. Oh, I love the music and the atmosphere. It's so depressing, but in a good way. It's very atmospheric. Oh god, look at that one. I'm glad that they have this simplistic art style, or I would be creeped out by these by these enemies. They're actually kind of cute. Cute and creepy at the same time, if that's even possible. Ah! Come here. Am I on a giant elevator? Look at this thing. It looks like an elevator. There's a light coming from above there. So here's the question. Do any of these enemies respawn? Uh, I guess I go in here. Jesus, what the hell is going on? Hello? Man, this game is dark. There's a guy here crying. Actually, he looks a bit like a larva. A centipede type deal. A worm, maybe, even? What do you call those things? Does he have a beard? What's wrong, buddy? Oh, look! When I... Uh, I can look... You see his head? Uh, uh, my head, I mean? I can look up and down when I... Do this. That's funny. Oh, I guess he does the same thing when I use my right controller. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, can I do anything in here? Buddy, can I help you? What are these... Shells with holes in them. There's like thousands of them. God, that's is, this is depressing. Wait, these are fucking back now. Okay, they definitely respawn, and it doesn't take long. It seems. Shit. Oh, I don't like that. I have to rush. I want to take my time. <laughs> Did you hear that sound effect? That sounded exactly like someone just going into the mic going, you know? <laughs> oh, fuck. I keep... I, I, I can't jump on them. I cannot jump. Come here. There. Ah! The money is falling. Look at the parallax here with the foreground. Stuff. That's cool, actually. Gives it a little bit of 3D effect. Uh. Ah! Fuck, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, hold on. Okay, yeah. I get it now. I've been watching that meter in the top left go up. When I kill these. Ah! 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 Okay, I have to... Okay, so I can actually make small jumps. I have to remember that. Up. Up. Ah. There we go. Not bad. I guess I... Oh, I love this mechanic, actually. The thing I hated in Super Meatball was that... You, you would die immediately when you got hit by something. Or maybe not immediately, but it would be super quick. I'm already lost in this world. Let's try going in here. 
there's a sign here. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hallownest descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. I don't know about that, man. That sounds like a big doubt for me. Uh, oh! Oh shit, here we go. Uh, what is he throwing at me? I'm kind of goo. Fireball? Ah! Okay, okay, the, the little pieces don't actually damage me! Okay, maybe I gotta be quick. Throw, throw your thing. Ah, go, here we go. Okay. Jump on him? Can I just walk past him? No. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm not going that way, I guess. Interesting. Look at all the ammonites on the wall here. And in the background. Love the music. Um. Oh, that's deep. But I guess I can't take fall damage, right? Unless there's spikes down there. Probably there is. Let me see. Did I come from here? I think I did. Uh... Wait, do these things respawn whenever I enter a new area? That's crazy. That's like Dark Souls on steroids. Uh, let me just go all the way up. Let's see what's all the way on top. No, oh, wait. This is where I, this is where I came from. This is where I came from. I remember the light coming from above here. So I went across, and I went up there, and this is. There's a crying guy in here. Got it. Oh, oh no. Uh, I mean, I'm collecting a lot of money, I guess. I am making progress there. Okay, so let me go down this way. Here. Let's see what's in here. I've got one of these little uh, armadillos. Armored ar armadillos, I would say. Armored dildos. <laughs> oh! Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Where'd you come from? Ah! Was he crying when I hit him? Oh, look at him! Oh! There's something up there. Uh, okay. Okay, the enemies are actually not that difficult. If I just focus a little bit. Ah! Ah! Oh shit. I keep thinking these things will disappear after a while, but they don't, it seems. They just stay there. Uh, the Geo, that is. Look at the background with the bridge. So is this... Hello Nest, what I'm in right now. Is this the actual kingdom? I mean... It's definitely fallen into ruin, that's confirmed. Ha! <laughs> Did you hear that? It was all excited when I came. Ah! How do, how do I get over there? I don't think I can make that jump. Uh, okay, let's keep going this way. You know what he looks like? The bug there coming towards me? He looks almost possessed. Like a zombie. Look. Like, it's like he's not walking himself, you know? It's like a reanimated body or something. Oh! Oh, sh ah, j Jesus. Okay, this guy charges. He's like a horn, too. He's also downtrodden. I think I'm one of their kind. We sort of look similar, don't we? We have the white head. We have the black legs. And we have like a sort of horn on our heads. I mean, his horn is a little different, but... Then again, he has these orange... Orange glow in his eyes. 
Actually, all of these have. Okay, this guy jumps. Ah! There. And I don't have an orange glow in my eyes. Does that mean I'm not a zombie, but they are because they have a glow in their eyes? It's so satisfying to cut all the grass. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, he's actually pretty easy. I just have to time my attacks there. Can I bait you over here? Come here. Nice. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh shit. I saw that one. Da Look at the little sword falling. I've seen this symbol so many times now. The one on this post. It's also in the background. You see that blurred but bigger? It looks like a little bug with wings or something. And sharp teeth. Uh, that's a hole. Come here, buddy. Ugh. Nice. They all have, like, orange blood. I mean, there are signs everywhere and stuff, but I can't read them, it seems. Dude, I am completely immersed in this world, whatever this is. This kingdom. Did you hear that transition? That was so well done. What's this place? Ooh. New color palette here. Okay, there's someone over there for sure. Sounds a little creepy. Look at all these crystals. Are you friendly? Myla! Oh, bury my mother pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two. And then when you're done, let's bury me too. Uh, that's creepy. Do <laughs> you know that one? It's one of my favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. I bet you have a b beautiful singing voice. Ha! <laughs> ha! Uh, right. So what are you down here for? If you came to get, get wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's p p plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. <laughs> uh, look. Her eyes are not orange. So she's not a zombie. Maybe they're not zombies. Maybe they went mad or something. Because the guy up top, the elder, he said that it used to be like... Uh, an everlasting kingdom or something like that. But then all that's left now is monsters and madness, right? So maybe for some reason some of these bugs became mad. And the orange glow in their eyes signifies that. Look at the little cute light it has on its helmet. Oh, bury the knight with her broken nail. Bury the priest. Something about a crown? I can't remember the rest of that one. Huh. Maybe I'll just hum it. Bury the knight with her broken nail. What? The priest, something about a crown? Man, this game is cryptic, isn't it? Oh, maybe. Oh, I accidentally clicked on it. I didn't want to do that. Okay, buddy. Uh, Myla. You know what I should do? Hold on. I have my notes here. I'm gonna make a character section here. I'm just gonna write. Uh, elder bug? And then we have Myla. 
leaving some space so I can add notes later if needed. Myla. Oh shit! Elevator time. Oh, I could have left there. I gotta go back. Uh, go. happening okay it kind of looks like me a little bit it also has these horns you see that the statue whatever that is okay how do I call the elevator back down did I just fuck myself okay nice here it comes I gotta say, the, uh, the exploration in this game is working so far for me. I am intrigued. Uh, nothing that way? Huh! <gasps> Look at that shit! fact. Doesn't that look a little bit like the goo that comes out of the enemies when I kill them? How do I get down here? Just let, let, let it happen. Oh. Come on, let it happen. Eh. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Of course, I can also hit downwards, look. Oh wait, am I doing that? Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, it's definitely different. I can look, so I can hit this way, that way, up, and down. Okay, that, not, nothing's happening. So what did Mylas say? These were mines, right? Um, let me write that. Crystal mines. Or whatever this is. Looks like crystal at least. Crystal mines. Um, what, what should I write? A brittle floor. Nice. Then it means I have to come back to this area. Oh, the, the sound is nasty. Of that thing. Okay, down we go. Uh, Myla, do you know how to get past the brittle floor? Okay. I feel like this should be significant somehow, but maybe it's not. Something about a crown. Knight with a broken nail. Now, when you say nail, do you mean the nail on the finger? Or like an sewing thing? Oh, wait, that's a needle. I'm thinking of two different things here. I came from down left. Uh, so what if I go this way? Oh, you know where I'm going to probably end up here? If I have the geography down? I'm probably going to appear from the right when I first fell... Oh, shit. When I first fell down the uh, well. Buddy. Ah. Ah. Look, orange glow in the eyes. I'm gonna see if I can uh, find exceptions to this rule. Hold on, I wanna try something. Come here. Hey! Nice! So that's how you jump on them and damage them. You just have to uh, use your, use your uh, fucking sword, whatever it's called. Old nail. <laughs> oh! That's what it meant then. Bury the priest with the broken nail. So maybe it, the priest had a, a weapon. Like like mine, but it was broken. Uh, okay. T. 
Temple of the Black Egg. Hey, buddy. Hold on a second. This is that thing from the uh, from the intro. The glowy orbs. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. Also, look at his eyes. There's no orange glow. Nice. The name appeared when he introduced himself. That's a nice little detail. I'm Quirrell. I have something of, a, of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries. And one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. Oh yeah? A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery. And who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. Huh. I mean, this does seem significant. Especially because it was the thing we saw in the intro. Nah, me no bis. For so long I felt drawn here. So many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I chose to arrive. This dead world has sprung to life. What? The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles. The air is thick. I wonder what could have brought it all about. When you say riled up, do you mean they all have that glow in their eyes and they become zombies? Because I've seen that too. Hold on, let me do this. Also, is he wearing a mask or what is that thing? Why are you wearing a mask? To persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone just won't be enough. Though that's no problem. One only has to look around. Plenty have come before us, and most have met their grisly end. Many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. That sounds to me like an excuse for... Uh, Robbing the dead. He does have a point from a practical point of view. Did you pass that town above? What a gro gloomy little place. And such a majesty hidden right beneath. Yeah. I suppose that's why they've all headed down here. Who could resist such possibilities? I mean, even I'm here now, but I sort of fell down by accident. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I actually came to this town for the same reason everyone else came here. Like, this guy right here looks sort of the same as me, in a way. White head, black eyes. You know, he even has the same weapon I have. Although he doesn't have any antlers, it seems, or horns, or whatever you call them. He's here to explore. Maybe I'm here to explore. Oh! Oh wait, is it just because I have a glow? Yeah, okay, I have a glow around me. I thought they were lighting up when I came close to them. Actually. Now that I look at that. Doesn't it look like the mask right there where I'm jumping to? Is the one he's wearing? Upside down? Am I crazy or is that just coincidence? Uh, nothing that way. So there's a whole temple to this black egg. And if you look at it, there's this sort of spiral structure coming out from the egg. Again, in an ammonite type of way. Like a fossil. So maybe this egg was once not made of stone but of organic matter, and it, it has since fossilized. 
it does look like a long time had passed in this kingdom, right? Everything is in ruins. Actually, there's actually the three uh, symbols above the doorway too. The same three symbols on the egg itself. What does that mean? I mean, I'm not actually helping to the <laughs> helping make this place less ruined. I'm sort of ruining it everywhere I go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Look at this sign too. It reminds me again of the of the bug with the with the wings and the teeth. Ah! Oh my god, I can actually hit through walls. That's crazy. Aha, there's one. Aha! I knew it! I'm back where I started. That's a great feeling, man. That's a great feeling. Hold on, I just want to quickly test something. Also, I just want to write down here. Uh, Quirrell. What's his name? Quirrell. What a curious name. I want to see if he's still inside of this temple. Ah, uh, you know what? All these things that I'm destroying, they actually come back whenever I leave an area. So, it's okay for me to destroy them. I don't feel bad about that anymore. Are you still here? You are? Okay. The reason I'm checking this is... I'm used to... Uh, Dark Souls, where sometimes the NPCs just fucking leave, you know? And they go somewhere else without... Without telling you and you have to find them again or something. Hmm. Truly a marvel. Hmm. Yeah, it is. The Kingdom of Hallow Nest. Wasn't it called the Eternal Kingdom? It doesn't seem very eternal to me. In fact, it seems very shit to me. Nothing about this is eternal at all. What are these little... bucks that I'm killing here? Look in the front. All of these... geos. Like, right be below me here. What is this? It's everywhere in the game. It has to be super significant, right? Ascend. Oh, I just had a great... theory. Do you remember in the beginning of the game? Uh, when we read those signs, it said, Higher being, these words are for you alone. Maybe the bugs that are not... Zombies are called higher beings. You know? Maybe the bugs that are just walking around like a zombie, attacking everything in sight. Maybe they are lower beings. Uh, look at the glass, uh, at the grass flowing in the wind there when I cut it. That's cool. Hold on, before I go that way, let me go back this way. And I guess I jump over this. Yeah, okay. Nothing new there. Uh, let me save the game. Elderbug. I went down below. There's no treasures or secrets anywhere. It's all a lie. But I guess that's what he told me, didn't he? He said it used to be like that, but now it's all dilapidated. Did you visit that temple? A strange building, I've heard. Though I'd never dared the journey myself. The journey? It's like five, It's like 30 meters. You can do it. The braver among us once went there to pray. Said they felt a peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. Maybe the kingdom fell, t fell in ruin? Is that what changed? Or is he talking about people from this village going down and visiting the temple? Yeah. I am the talkative sword. Please talk to me. Tell me everything. I want to know more. 
God, I love the music in this town. So far, my favorite track. But I'm also biased. I absolutely love piano music, so... And then it fades out. Love the sound of the wind. The wind is howling. A stone door with a simple lock. Simple enough. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought my character kept walking because I heard the walking sound. Um, I can't look down here. I can look up. Wait a minute. Oh, nothing. Never mind. Um, is there anything else I can do here? Uh, you have a key for that lock, my dude? Okay, you don't. That's okay. Just had to ask. Uh, I just want to try going back from where I came. I know I fell down quite a bit, but maybe there's a way to go up, or maybe something changed. Actually, this looks like, uh... Is this why the thing is broken up there? This, These are the pieces? Maybe there used to be something up there and... Obviously you're not supposed to be falling down like that into the kingdom. Right? So maybe there was a, a staircase or something. But it's now broken. I also wonder... The entrance to the kingdom was sealed. I had to physically destroy the door to enter the kingdom. Which has to mean that nobody passed through that place... Well, since the door was put in place. The biggest question I have is who am I? Man, I have to ponder this. I gotta say though, so far... This game is gripping me, I can't lie. Love the music and the atmosphere. Oh, look at him, he's like falling asleep almost when I'm sitting here. Or maybe he was like that all the time. Maybe I'm just looking for an excuse to listen to this music some more. Ah, oh, man. Beautiful. I think that has to be it for the first episode. In the next one, I'll go back down into that well. And see what the hell happened to this old kingdom. Why did it fell into ruin? Why are there zombies everywhere? Why is Elderbog not a zombie? Is it because we came from outside, maybe? Maybe something happened down below. When we weren't here, and then we came here. Or maybe we are higher beings. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been a blast so far. I, I can't lie about that. That's just, uh, this is exciting. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.